Hi, this is Don Bagwell from the IBM Washington System Center, and this is a brief video introduction to the question, Why WebSphere Application Server for ZOS? For a more detailed presentation, please see the WP101532 document at ibm.com slash support slash tech docs. The message I will deliver in this video is, there is inherent value in the System Z and ZOS platform. I will provide a summary of what those value statements are. And by exploiting the platform, WebSphere Application Server for ZOS can derive further benefit by operating on System Z and ZOS. That said, there is an important concept that must be established as the backdrop to this discussion. That is, there is a high degree of commonality across the platform supported by WebSphere Application Server. The phrase WAS is WAS is frequently used to express this key concept. IBM offers several different server platform architectures with several different operating systems supported on those hardware platforms. WebSphere Application Server is supported across those platforms and operating systems shown on this chart. Now here's the key. The open standard specifications supported by WebSphere Application Server are common and consistent across all the supported platforms. That means applications see a common and consistent programming model regardless of the underlying OS and platform, with common development tooling, and common source control and packaging, and a common deployment model, and a common administration model. However, below the open standard specification line, WebSphere Application Server has a portion of unique code designed to exploit the platform it is running on. That means that some elements of the runtime operations are common and some are platform specific and the runtime construction is based on the requirements of the platform itself. That means the focus of this short video is the nature of the platform specific exploitation done by WAS for ZOS. Let's turn our attention to what System Z and ZOS offers as an inherent part of its design. For the first part of this discussion, the focus will be on the value of the overall design of the platform. Down at the hardware level, System Z is designed to perform at a high level and provide a high degree of availability. The hardware is designed to be redundant and fault tolerant at nearly every critical point of its construction. On top of that is provided a hypervisor function that permits the logical partitioning of the physical resources. That allows you to construct multiple operating systems on a given server machine, each with a complete and secure isolation from one another. Platform resources may be dynamically shifted between logical partitions, either manually or automatically with the help of Intelligent Resource Director. Then on top of that is built Parallel Sysplex, a seasoned and mature server clustering architecture in use around the world in highly scaled and highly available implementations. At the heart of Parallel Sysplex is a shared data mechanism that scales in a near linear manner up to the maximum 32 nodes possible in a Sysplex. Using all that as the foundation, the story continues. WLM, or Workload Manager, is a component of the ZOS operating system that offers a Sysplex-wide mechanism for defining workload goals and having WLM manage system resources to meet your goals. SAF, or Security Access Facility, is an extremely robust security definition and enforcement mechanism that has proven itself across decades of use. SMF and RMF are activity recording and analysis tools that give you a deep insight into the operations of the system and programs running on the system. They provide the tools needed for accurate capacity planning and usage accounting purposes. RRS, or Resource Recovery Services, is a Sysplex-wide transaction sync point coordinator function exploited by all major data subsystems on ZOS, including WAS for ZOS. It provides a mechanism for the efficient logging of transaction participation, as well as a powerful ability to recover quickly from failed transactions. Finally, on top of all that are the key ZOS data subsystems that are the workhorses of industry today, CICS, IMS, DB2, and MQ. The previous two charts become the basis for our discussion of how WAS ZOS takes advantage of the platform. And keep in mind that WAS is WAS and the commonality that exists across the platforms. The message here is that the inherent value of the platform accrues up to the applications running on WAS ZOS and thus the value accrues to your business as well.
Now let's turn to the way WASZOS directly exploits the platform. We'll work from the inside out. WASZOS has at its heart Java, just like WAS on every other platform. The interfaces of the embedded Java are common and consistent across all platforms. To the applications, Java is Java. The Java specifications are implemented with IBM JVM code, some of which is common to all WAS platforms and a portion that is very much ZOS unique and ZOS aware. This is the code that understands and takes advantage of the ZOS operating system and the underlying hardware. For example, the JVM inside WAS ZOS is ZAP aware and takes advantage of the superscalar design of the processing chip. The Z10 had a dual pipeline design and the new Z196 has an out-of-order execution pipeline design. And the JVM knows about and takes advantage of instructions burned into the chip as part of the CISC chip design, as well as a list of other low-level exploitation. The point is that by being platform aware and taking advantage of what the system Z and ZOS platform has to offer, the JVM inside WAS ZOS is capable of operating at a very efficient and highly performing level. Security Access Facility, or SAF, was mentioned earlier. We'll cover it again here because it offers a significant advantage in security definition and management. Start with a picture of a ZOS logical partition in which SAF is included. Now SAF is really just an interface and as such it requires a security product behind it. Several are offered from IBM and others all have as part of their design a repository for the storing of security definitions. WAS ZOS is written to exploit the SAF interface for security needs. While incorporating non-ZOS tools such as LDAP is possible, it is also possible to have SAF be the repository for all WAS ZOS's security needs. That includes such things as user IDs and groups, digital certificates for encryption, application EJB role definitions. You may also use it to reserve TCP ports and a host of other ZOS related purposes. In a parallel Sysplex environment, the SAF interfaces on each logical partition may participate in a shared security repository, making defining and managing a consistent security policy much easier. And that's the key point. By providing a single point of definition and management, the security enforcement role becomes more tightly controlled and therefore more secure. ZOS Workload Manager is at the very heart of the WAS ZOS split JVM model. WAS on the other platforms employ a single JVM model as shown here with applications co-resident in the JVM with all the IBM written Java code that makes up WAS itself. It's a workable model. But on ZOS with WLM, the opportunity existed to take it one step further. The JVM is split in two, with one JVM, the controller, taking on a portion of the infrastructure code, and the second JVM, the servant, hosting the application and having a layer of application support Java. WLM sits in the middle of it and acts as an intermediary between the controller and the servant. This provides a number of benefits, such as a queuing mechanism used to hold short-term spikes in requests, the ability to classify work based on priority, and the ability to dynamically expand capacity by starting additional servant regions based on WLM goals. Each JVM is a copy of the original, with WLM acting to serve work to each servant and keep track of things such as affinities and classifications. WLM may then dynamically contract the environment based on WLM's view of the defined goals and other activities on the system. It's all very sophisticated and we're giving you just the highest of overviews here. The essential benefit is management of application server JVM resources to WLM defined goals. The final point of exploitation we'll cover is cross-memory communications. Imagine a WAS ZOS application server and a key data subsystem co-located on the same ZOS logical partition. Local connectors provide a way of communicating between WAS and the data subsystems using ZOS cross-memory facilities. The benefits of this include very low latency reduced processing overhead as there's no TCP stack involved as well as no need to serialize objects being passed. This allows the propagation of thread level security identity from WAS into the data subsystems rather than using hard-coded aliases. A single ZOS thread is used throughout the entire process which avoids the overhead of thread switching at every hop. 
This allows you to manage the whole flow to a single WLM goal rather than several, and this allows you to exploit RRS for transaction two-phase commit sync point coordination. A variation on this is WOLA, which stands for WebSphere Optimized Local Adapters. This allows bidirectional cross-memory communications between WAS ZOS and KIX IMS batch programs and UNIX system services process. The bottom line benefit of this is better performance and a simpler system for management and control. So in summary, why WAS ZOS? Because of System Z and ZOS and the exploitation of both by WebSphere application server for ZOS. On that note, we'll conclude this video, which provided the essence of the Why Was ZOS story. The WP101532 document at ibm.com slash support slash tech docs provides a more comprehensive treatment of the subject. Now, this is an excellent topic for an interactive whiteboard session on pros, cons, and other architectural considerations. If you're interested in taking this discussion to the next level, contact your local IBM representative or one of the names listed on the chart. We will be happy to discuss this further with you and your technical staff. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for considering WAS on ZOS.